Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Today for this episode, I am showing you all how to set up the Teton Sports Mountain Ultra Tent. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now you may be wondering, Luke, what about the ground sheet? Usually I put that down first. Well, in this case, this tent actually comes with one. So it's inside of the package. Here's the tent itself, all ready to go. Undo the compression straps. The first thing that you will start with is the ground sheet. Then you are going to move to the body of the tent and then pull that right over the footprint. Now this is a freestanding tent and because it's not very windy right now, I'm going to move on to the poles. If it was a windy day, I would go ahead and stake this out. All right, folks, so I have the pole set up here and as you can see, you have the gray pole in the middle and then at each end, you have essentially a Y, right? This is very, very simple to do. So I'm going to take the pole and I'm going to lay it down over the body of the tent. And I'm going to start with the poles at the very bottom, right? So I'm gonna shove them through the grommet of the body and I'm gonna shove them through the grommet on the ground sheet. Now it's time to move to this end of the tent. So I'm going to essentially pull this pole up. I'm gonna put one foot on it and I'm going to begin bending that pole so I can put them through the grommets at both ends. So folks, as you can see here, the poles have been attached to both ends. Now it's time to connect the body to the poles. And for this, it's very simple. You have these clips which go right over the poles themselves. When I'm doing this, I like to do two or three on one side and then go to the other side and connect two or three. Here's a close up of one of these clips. It essentially just goes over the pole and clips on. The next step here is to take this gray center pole and attach it. You have grommets on both sides. Go ahead and pull it tight and lock it into place. And just like that, the poles are done. Now it's time to go ahead and just kind of pull this out and make some adjustments so that the floor is fully stretched out. Okay, perfect. Now it's time to throw the fly on. When you open this up in front of you, you will see that there is a zipper on one side of this fly. There's also a zippered entrance on one side of this tent. So make sure that your zipper on the fly matches the same side on the tent throw it over the body. Now that you have the fly on the tent, go ahead and make some minor adjustments. Kind of move it around so everything is placed where it's supposed to be. Remember, you have that gray pole in the middle and here on the fly, you have gray vents. So one vent for each side of that pole. Now folks, before you begin staking out the fly, as you can see, there is some Velcro here. There's one piece of Velcro on this side. There's another piece of Velcro on this side, which you can see back there. If you are expecting very strong winds, it is a good idea to attach this fly to the pole. And you could do that by using those pieces of Velcro. At each end of the tent, you have these buckles and they will buckle right into the body, just like so. Once you have one side buckled in, go ahead, buckle in the other side. And once you have everything buckled in, then it's time to grab your stakes. Once we get this staked out, we will make all of our final adjustments, pulling everything nice and tight then. I'm going to start right here at the door, and I'm going to loosely stake these out. So now go to the other side. Right, loosely done. We'll come back and make adjustments in just a moment. Now I'm going to go around the body of the tent, stake it out, and then pull everything tight. Here at each of these buckles, you can pull them tight. Time to go to the other side. Okay. Okay, so I'm almost done here. 
I have these two stakes in front. I'm gonna make some minor adjustments, get it a little bit tighter, then I'm done. Now, of course, with the doors, if you don't need them, you can roll them up and get them out of the way. Just like so. And you could do that for the other side as well. Now, folks, it is my recommendation with this tent that you at least stake it out in the four corners. This tent has a very high profile, so the wind can blow through, catch it, and you will notice that it has a tendency to pull it over. So make sure to stake it out nice and good. Make sure that it's nice and secure. So folks, there you have it. That is how you set up the Teton Sports Mountain Ultra One tent. It's a great tent, very inexpensive, very good quality. Also, it's very easy to set up. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Until next time, strength and honor, be well.